Hi kids, how are you today? Do you appreciate your mother? Your mother works very hard to give you a good life. So it's important to remember that and to say thank you to mom more than once a year, but at least once a year. And that's what Mother's Day is about. In Korea, you have Parents Day, mother and father together. It's their special day. But in America, we have different days. One day is Mother's Day and one day is Father's Day. Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn about Mother's Day. So let's take a look at our book here. As usual, we have a table of contents. What is in this book? What will we learn about Mother's Day? Let's take a look. First, we have a Mother's Day surprise. So, Mother knows that Mother's Day is coming, but she doesn't know what her family will do. Well, we're going to find out about that on page two. Next, we have, oh, what's this word? Oh, 힘들어. This word here, can you pronounce that? Let me help you. It's guacamole. 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 What is guacamole? Well, you see guacamole and chips. You know chips, right? Especially like nacho chips. I'm sure you're familiar with them. They're like Mexican food. Well, guacamole is a special dip that you can put on nacho chips and eat it. It's really delicious. By the way, if you look here, this looks like guacamole and these are nacho chips with cheese on them. Okay, so this is a very delicious snack. Guacamole and chips. We'll learn about guacamole. We'll learn how to make guacamole on page three, starting on page three. We also have cheesy pizza. Pizza? What's pizza? <laughs> of course you know pizza. Everybody knows pizza. Cheesy pizza. I'm getting hungry, <laughs> right? That's on page six. Do you know kebabs? You probably know kebabs. It's when you put food on a stick. Well, this is fruit kebabs. So we'll take a look at fruit kebabs on page eight. Now, maybe you know lemonade. You know lemonade, right? It's, it's a good drink. Sometimes it's a little sour, ooh, but it can also be sweet. How much sugar is in it? But pink lemonade. Usually lemonade is yellow, but this is pink lemonade. Mm, check me so well. We'll learn how to make pink lemonade starting on page 10. Well, that's a lot of food. Guacamole and chips, pizza, kebabs, and lemonade. All of that food together, it's time for lunchtime. So lunchtime, we'll talk about that on page 14. And finally, at the end of the book, we'll have some interesting facts about Mother's Day on page 16. Whew, that's a lot of information. Well, let's start with a Mother's Day surprise. Okay, let's begin with the book. Here we see a Mother's Day surprise. Who are these people here? Well, this is the daughter, this is the son, and this is Papa, right? This is the dad, okay? Let's read. Let's find out their names and what are they going to do for Mother's Day. It was Mother's Day. It was Mother's Day. Jasmine and Nat, so this is a girl. Her name is Jasmine. Jasmine is a girl's name. And Nat, this is the boy. Nat is a boy's name, so this is Jasmine, and this is Nat, and of course this is Dad, okay? So Jasmine and Nat wanted to make a surprise lunch for Mom, a surprise lunch. Mom doesn't know, right? So they're going to surprise her, right? It's like, wow, you made lunch for me. Thank you very much. She didn't expect it. It's a surprise. They chose some recipes. Recipes. Recipe is how to make something. Can you cook? Do you know how to make your favorite dishes? If you want to make your favorite food, or if you want to cook, you have to know recipes. Recipes tell you how to cook a meal. Okay, so those are very important. We're going to look at many recipes in this book. 
So they chose some recipes. Dad helped them. So Dad is,、uh, of course, a good dad. He's going to help Jasmine and Nat follow these recipes and make some good food.、Mm, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The first recipe is about guacamole and chips. Remember guacamole、uh, and chips? It's kind of like a Mexican food, and we saw a picture before of guacamole and chips. Now, Jasmine, Jasmine made guacamole and chips. She got everything ready, so Jasmine is going to make the guacamole and chips. She has to make everything ready. She has to get all of the ingredients. All of the in. Gree, d, ants, ingredients. Wow, it's a long word. Ingredients, ingredients. The ingredients are all the things that she needs、uh, to put into the guacamole. They're all the the different types of food that she puts into the guacamole. These are not ingredients. These are the tools that she will use to make guacamole. So let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients are one ripe tomato, one tomato ripe. Ripe means it's ready to eat. If it's not ripe, it's too green or too hard or too sour. You don't want to eat it. And if it's too ripe, we don't say it's ripe. It's rotten. It's too old. It smells.、Ugh. You have to get it the right time. It's ripe. A ripe tomato. Two ripe avocados. 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 We learned about avocados in a previous book. It's a good fruit. It's usually grown in in the south, in southern countries. They're very、uh, delicious fruit. Okay. Five green onions. So five green onions, like this. You know, onions are different shapes. Some onions, some onions look like apples, right? But some onions are very thin, like this one. So we need five green onions, like this one. Two limes. You know, lemon, but their limes are green, and they're very similar to lemon, but they're green. They're a little bit different. So two limes. We need salt and pepper. Of course, we know salt and pepper, and Tortilla chips, tortilla chips, tortilla. We learned about tortillas in a previous book. Yeah, but we can make hard chips from tortillas. Tortilla chips. These are the ingredients. These are the ingredients. These are the、uh, these are the foods that are going to go into guacamole and chips. Here are our tools. We need a spoon. A spoon, of course, we can use a spoon to scoop up or to measure things. We need a knife, a knife to cut the avocado and the tomato and the limes and the onions. We need bowls. Bowls. What do we use bowls for? We use bowls to hold all the ingredients and also to mix the ingredients. We need a potato masher. A potato masher. You mash something. So they're going to mash the avocados, right? They're going to mash the avocado and also mix it with the other ingredients as they mash. And we need a juicer. A juicer is where you take a fruit like a lime, you cut it in half, and the juice comes out. So you get juice from a fruit with a juicer. So these are the ingredients. These are the tools. And She's going to make guacamole.、Mm. So this is how she does it. This is how she puts the ingredients and the tools. She uses both together to make guacamole. This is very important. Pay attention. You can make guacamole too after we're done. Okay. First, Jasmine put the tomatoes in the bowl. So she put the tomatoes in the bowl. You can see what she's doing here too. Do you see the tomato here? She Uh, scooped. She used the spoon to get the inside of the tomato, and she put the tomato parts in the bowl. That's very interesting. So be be very careful. See how she did that. She didn't use the whole tomato. She used the inside of the tomato. Okay. Then、um, she put the green onions in the bowl. She put the green onions, probably chopped them, and put the green onions in the bowl. 
Then she put the avocados in the bowl. So right now she has the tomatoes, she has the green onions, and she has the avocados. Again, she's using the spoon to scoop. Scoop. She uses the spoon to scoop the avocado. She uses the spoon to scoop out the inside of the tomato. Scoop, okay? What will she do next? Jasmine squeezed, squeezed the limes. She poured the lime juice into the bowl. So when she squeezed the limes, she used the juicer to squeeze the limes, get the juice, and then she poured, poured, right from the juicer, into the bowl. She poured the lime juice into the bowl. Then she added salt and pepper. Chokaman, chokaman, not too much, too much salt, Ugh, it doesn't taste good. Just a little salt. So she put a little salt and a little pepper into the bowl. Then you, we see this big tool here, remember? That is the potato masher on the previous page. It's the potato masher. Then she mashed up everything. She mashed it all together. So all the tomatoes, all the onions, all the avocados, the juice, and the salt and pepper, they all get mashed up together, okay? Then it's guacamole. She put the guacamole in a new bowl, a clean bowl. This bowl is dirty, right? So she wants to make a nice, she wants it to look pretty. So she puts it in a new bowl. She put it in a new bowl and she put tortilla chips around the bowl. And there it is right there. There's the guacamole in the new bowl and these are the tortilla chips around the guacamole. <sighs> I'm getting hungry. Guacamole and chips was very, very delicious. It's really good. It might be hard to find avocado in Korea, but if you can, sometimes it's in the supermarket. If you can get these ingredients, you can see it's very easy to make guacamole and it's delicious. So if you have a chance, make guacamole at home with your mom or your dad. It's very good. Okay, we're going to take a break here. When we come back, we're going to take a look at more recipes to make other kinds of delicious food. So I'm excited about that. I'll see you then.